What's up everyone? This is Rick. I was about to uh, do a little project today to add a little bit of electricity and some lights to my shed that I built uh, over the over the fall. Um, just gonna put an actual just a light above. It's gonna wire an outside light fixture here and light switch and then a just uh, I guess three outlets. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so I went ahead and installed all the electrical boxes where I want them. Uh, it's obviously an outlet. That'll be the light switch for that light right there. This will be the, the GFI outlet. Um, it'll be mounted a little bit up front so that I can uh, access it when I'm working on stuff. Another outlet here. And then lastly, um, for the outside light fixture, I went ahead and cut a four inch hole there. I went ahead and mounted the mounting hardware. Let's get to it. All right guys, so just a quick update. Just wanna let you see that I started installing a um, uh, photo cell for this light. So it'll come on at dusk. Um, like some of the other lights I have out in the backyard. Um, actually, Matt, the light fixture I got matches the ones that I have now. Um, so I went ahead and started running the wires and installed the photo cell just kind of behind it and then the wires into the um, electrical box. And I'm about to start running the wires to each electrical box now. Okay, quick update. Uh, got the light fixture installed. Um, got the wiring to the uh, photo cell done. It goes, uh, all the whites go together, ground to the ground, and then the black in wire, um, the input wire uh, matches up with the black um, photo cell wire, and then the red wire from the photo cell goes to the black wire on the uh, light fixture and that's uh that's the proper setup good morning so i didn't finish last night because it was really late when i started uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and start trying to finish up this project today but as you can see last night i went ahead and well i had to put some stuff back in the shed but i did get the a lot of the wiring done, I try to kind of put the majority of it out of the way as much as I could. Um, as you can see, here is the switch. Put it up here so I could get to it easily. I think I may actually move it up above the uh, shelf. I may put it here. And what I also may do is put another one down here somewhere. So put another one down here. Um, because I plan on putting like a little refrigerator in here. Some of the wire underneath Let's see, there, and I went above or after the top of the stud and down and under. So there we go. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna get to wiring uh, some of these outlets it's basic standard 15 volt outlet so you got way too much wire coming out of this one so i'm gonna just come some of this off here about, about six inches 
inches. Now, just need to strip some of that wire. Utility knife. Some of that off. Well, all the paper, everything. Now, when it comes to stripping, how much you want to strip? These are just this is basic indoor 14 2 standard Volmex. Um, on the back of the outlets, there's a strip guide. It'll tell you how much you need to strip off. So you can just hold it up to that. Now, um, I usually um, make my little curl with uh, my needle nose, but my daughter ran off with my needle nose pliers somewhere, so um, I can put that in this hole right here. struggling without my needle nose pliers, but doing the best I can do right now. So black goes to brass, white goes to the silver side. Top or bottom doesn't matter. This is actually the last in the uh, line of outlets right here, and then the green to the copper. That's the uh, big round wire. Now there are push connections on the back of these. It's never recommended to use those. Now what you can see is that not too much extra wire is exposed beyond the, uh, the, the middle brass on the outlet itself. Push this in. Put the 
Hold on. Okay guys, quick update. Uh, got one more outlet installed. Um, now I was going to work on the switch to the light that's above. So what we have is there are three wires. Um, this one going to the outlet down here. This one is the power source. And then this one to the light above. So this one, we're going to do all of the grounds together, or wire, or wind those together. All the whites will be connected together, the neutrals. And then the hots, you'll have the hot from the power source and the hot to the other outlet will be connected together on the light switch. And that'll be on the, the bottom. And then the top to the switch, to the uh, light above will be this black wire up to the light. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wire it and then I'll show you when I'm done. Okay guys, get this all wired up. I showed you before the uh, the uh, light above, it's wired to the top. The hot wires to the, uh, to the second outlet and from the power source are wired to the bottom. They'll always be on. All the whites are connected. The grounds are connected and then one ground is brought to the switch itself. So that's how you wire the light switch and I'll shove it in here in a second. Okay, so everything is wired up. I have all the outlets except for the GFI out outlet done uh, because that's the one that I will be tapping into from the garage. Um, so just kind of take you around back so currently I have out of that outlet I have a whole, um, all my sprinklers so the sprinkler uh, so the, uh, sprinkler system is inside um, along with our mosquito um, uh, our mosquito misting system uh, there's a big barrel inside with also all the wires and um, tubing for the mosquito system is through this port. Um, I don't have enough room to feed the uh, electrical cord through it so I'm actually just going to um, do a new one and then I'll dig it into the ground and uh, have the gray, you need the gray underground rated 14-2 um, um, wire for underground and outdoors. Uh, so I have that, and I'll be feeding it through some conduit, and then I'll drill a hole up through the bottom of my shed and feed it through there. Okay, so I tapped in off of a uh, outlet in my garage, and I just ran conduit short distance just to the, uh, the shed. Okay guys, it's the uh, moment of truth. All right, I just turned the uh, GFI outlet on, pressing the reset button. First thing I'll try is the switch. Light works. The outside light may or may not be on yet because it's a photo sensor. Let's see if it, there you go. Like that. Here we go. There. Sorry. There. And I'll just have to check each one of the outlets and make sure that they're all working properly. Check them out. So I'll plug in my um my charger for my drill uh, batteries. And you can see that one's going. 
<clears throat> now to try the GFI outlet, but it's pretty obvious that one's working. Yep. And size two. It's, it's light, it's lit up. Last one. I'm all working. It's all done. Um, finally finished the project in the shed. This was just uh, the lights and electricity project. Next up is to build some shelving in here. Um, I got this shed from Costco um, last year around November, um, put it together. It's uh, 14 by eight, um, I think the brand was uh, Yardline, I think. Um, and uh, it's a decent shed. Some of the boards became a little bit worse, but nothing can it work with. Uh, went, to, went together really easy, so couple of weekends and knocked it out. Um, now I just need some more shelving because as you can see, it's stuff everywhere, everywhere. Uh, we do a lot of entertaining and pool stuff. So we just need to, I just need to get it all cleaned up, um, organized. So that'll be next. In the meantime, uh, if you have any questions or any comments, see anything that I did wrong, anything you would recommend, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time.